Hi guys, it's Ray. Today we are going to use our Tech Wrap Heat Transfer Vinyl Puff. Um, I'm not going to use the black or the brown today, but I just wanted to show you those. They do have a lot of color options, but I have four shirts here and I'm going to press them all. Um, not the blue ones, that's a different video, but I have a purple shirt that was um, I think these are like 60% cotton, 40% something else. Yes, this one is 40% cotton, or 60% cotton and 40% modal, whatever that is. Um, this one says it's indigo purple, so it's like a dark bluish purple. So I'm going to use that on the purple shirt. I'm going to use the coral pink on the pink shirt. So I'm kind of going tone on tone here. And then this is a different shirt. And I'm going to use white on white. I believe these ones are 100% cotton. I could be wrong though. Yes, so this one is 100% cotton. And this one is the same. I believe also 100% cotton. It just feels a little softer. Double check, yep. So on the gray one, I am going to use the Tiffany Blue Puff. So I'm excited to try these. Um, I'm just going to use quick sayings that are already in Cricut Design Space because I'm not a huge fan of text on t-shirts to begin with, like unless it's a concert t-shirt or like you've traveled somewhere. I'm not so much into like putting cutesy sayings and stuff on things, so I'm just going to pick what's there. Okay, so I have most of my designs weeded, and it weeded beautifully. The pink one I did, I can do anything with a little swearing. The Tiffany, I did Lake Life. And for the white on white... I just did a very simple summertime. These were what the colors looked like out of the package. So that purple is, indigo purple is very pretty out. And so is the corally pink. So I did leave one to weed on camera. I don't remember what it says. But we'll find out. This is the purple. It says something about caffeine. This is so pretty. This color is stunning. So I cut this at, um, I have a Cricut Air Explorer 2, Explorer Air 2, whatever. Um, no desire to upgrade to a maker, but he suggested that I cut at um, premium holographic vinyl setting for this, and it worked like a dream. So that's what I went with for all of them. I didn't even actually do a test cut, I just cut the white first. and trusted what he told me and it was spot on perfect so really really happy but you can see how easily this is weeding and um, sometimes HTV color is backed with white when it's a darker color Um, I think to make it show up better on darker colored shirts. A lot of people argue with people I see all the time like, oh, you're red HTV, that's not HTV because it's white on the back. Well, it is HTV. It's just some of the companies do that. So the only one that is not white on the back is the pink. That is pink on the back. So um, I'm going to cut the excess sheet off. I could have made this a little bit smaller to begin with, but 
that's all right. So that is it. I'm going to get you flipped around again to a different angle so we can get to pressing. Okay, so I have not yet found a really good way to record when I'm using this machine. So we're just going to try it like this. The lighting's not the best, but it's what I can do. So I'm going to start by preheating my machine. I'm going to turn it on. Um, you can hear the fan running. And I haven't used this in a while, so hopefully it'll go well. So this is a 315 to 320 degrees for 15 seconds. So I'm going to set my temp. I'm going to push the temperature button and then bring it down to 320. And then I'm going to hit my timer button and bring that down to 15. And I'm going to use the auto function because I'm doing four all of the same. So what that does is when I close the drawer, it's automatically going to go. And I can stop it by pushing the button. The R button is what makes it go. So I'm going to put a piece of parchment or Teflon on my mat because I did get a little infusible ink bleed through on it. So I'm going to put Teflon on the top and the bottom. So... That's what's going on there. Just getting a new sheet on my lint roller. I don't always lint roll, but um, people like to yell at me if I don't. So, and I'm not selling these, they're for me. So if they're not perfect, I don't typically care. I do not make shirts to sell. So I'm going to make sure all the tags are out of these. This one I missed the little paper tag. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball them. I'm actually going to slide my Teflon down a little bit. Because my Teflon is about set to the size of the pressing pillow itself and I'm not going to use any kind of special lining up tools I'm just going to eyeball it if I was making shirts to sell I would make them much more professional but for personal use I'm going to pull this up a bit, make sure there's no wrinkle in the back. And while it's coming up to temp, I am going to go ahead and give this a pre-press. That'll dry out any moisture and kind of preheat the material. And I'm going to grab my white image so I can be ready. Now it's wrinkle free or somewhat wrinkle free and I may press it again just because we are extremely humid right now. So so I'm gonna go ahead and line up my image because this is a v-neck I'm gonna go relatively close to the top. And if you do want to make sure you're centered, just kind of fold, pinch your image, and you'll be able to see. So I'm going pretty close to the collar. Yes, this is a hot peel HTV. They do exist. 
I see a lot of people arguing about that. Not all HTVs are the same. Some are hot press, some are, or some are hot peel, some are cold peel. Make sure you look at the directions for your particular HTV. Okay, so that's just its little beak saying it's ready and the button turned green. We'll just let it do its thing and see how this looks. The um, tough one likes to stick on this one. And I do have some spots where it didn't catch. So... I'm probably going to regret this, but or it didn't actually touch my mat or touch the vinyl. There we go. It didn't actually hurt it at all. Super puffy. is quite hot but there it is I do really like the um, white on white I think that's pretty cool well, this is the other style of shirt um, the bottom does stay cool on this so you just have to be careful not to touch that top plate when you're shimmying your shirt around. Um, you've seen me do it before where I actually line it up upside down. Pre-press. Alright, I'm going to put my I'm kind of not sure I'm going to like this on here, so I think I'm actually going to switch my purple to the pink shirt and my pink to the purple shirt because I think that combination is going to look better now that I can see, now that I've seen the colors unpackaged. Hopefully that makes sense. This is a different style shirt, but I'm just going to kind of hold it up and see if I actually like, yes, I do like that placement. So. No, I'm having a void spot right here. I don't know why. It might be where the plate is pushing on the, um, collar. So I'm going to give that another short press. Some people just leave their parchment stuck to the second press is making it fine so the Teflon is warm caffeine chaos and cursing hopefully you can see this dimension I mean this is super puffy like any um, 80s baby that was like into puffy stickers and stuff um, this is like right up your alley so I think to try and fix the um, issue of the seam. We're going to try pulling the seam off of this end and feeding the shirt in this way. 
and just see if that makes a difference. I said I wasn't going to talk through all four of these, but apparently I am. Yep, see, that's the collar that's causing the issue. I have one little tiny spot there. I still have one little tiny spot there, but that's fine. stuff just boggles my mind. I very much like it though. Well, that one fully puffed, and I'm definitely glad I didn't put this color on that pink shirt, because that would have looked horrible, I think. I will say that the larger fonts look better. Um, this one had a little bit of a smaller font. Um, and it's kind of running itself together, and I think this one is crooked AF. But... Well, it's maybe not too bad. So, I'm going to let them all cool down. We'll get it turned around and we'll take a look at them. Okay, so I did decide to throw the one on so you can see. Um, I love this color combination. I am so glad I switched these because I don't think this color would have looked all that fantastic on that color. The purple definitely would have looked good over the purple, but... I think the pink on pink would not have but there we go I love it I may just keep this one on and wear it to work tonight and I can do anything with a little swearing this one said caffeine chaos and cursing and let's look at this one lake life I am super happy with these. I absolutely love the puff. And here's the one that I most wanted to try. Summertime. The white on white puff. I just think it's pretty cool. Like I wish I could take samples of this in the store and see if I could match up other color t-shirts to do all of them matching. I could definitely do black on black though. But that is it. That is going to wrap up this one. Thank you so much, Tech Wrap, for the puff vinyls. They are stunning. And um, I will definitely play with them more at some point here. So, and these feel really good. Like, they're not, they're not like a normal vinyl when you put it on a shirt. Like, it's just there. So, I love it. Thank you so much. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.